Flu can be very deadly for old people, for the very young, uh, for pregnant uh, women, uh, and for the immunocompromised. So they're four very vulnerable groups, and for them it's a matter of life and death. We are a group of uh, computer scientists and statisticians from uh, several different departments working together uh, with a common goal of making epidemic forecasting a reality. In 2013, the CDC launched a Predict the Influenza Season Challenge, where they asked modelers to make forecasts throughout the season of influenza activity levels. This season, uh, the flu epidemic has been very difficult to forecast and predict, not only because it's been stronger than it's been in previous years that we have data for. This season followed the shape that all early seasons do, and then it just kept going up. So it really confused our model. I think I've talked to other groups, it's confused their models as well. So we not only have to do forecasting, but also backcasting to figure out what do we think that the value that we get, which was actually slightly off, what, what was that value actually, what was the true value? Now casting algorithmically is also very interesting, trying to find creative ways to figure out what information is out there. One of our group members put in a lot of work to work with all these different types of data sources, the number of tweets related to flu, the Wikipedia page hits. We actually rely on people's judgment and aggregate people's judgment and compare that to the performance of the statistical method. Well, to do that well, you need to have a very good user interface. So we have here the Human Computer Interaction Institute we have to, to draw on. We already saw with this now casting system that going down to the state level can improve predictions at a national level. So by modeling individual metropolitan areas, we can do a better job not just on the metropolitan areas, but also on the nation as a whole. There are many diseases that would benefit from forecasting. So uh, dengue, enteral diseases, uh, stomach bugs. Certainly chikungunya and Zika uh, were very big. Um, uh, Zika, as you know, has tremendous human cost. Knowing in advance where it's going to hit big is tremendously useful to governments as they try to, uh, to arrest the, the outbreak. How far is it going to go, how bad is it going to be, and what's the most effective way of stopping it?